health organization at all. Um, and, and taking directive from an international body. But this one caught my eye. This one is a warning shot. And I truly believe that the, the video gaming going overboard, this syndrome that we're talking about, is almost reaching epidemic proportions in this nation. Well, uh, Graham, I'm, I'm sorry to, 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 to disagree with you at, at, at any point here, but once it was comic books, then it was rock and roll, then it was television. <laughs> okay. um, now it's, it's violent video. There, there is a professional class of researchers and do-gooders who are looking to um, define and identify um, diseases, maladies, addictions, because then the floodgates of taxpayer dollars open for research, for studies, for conferences, you can do very well as an addiction specialist, depending on what your addiction is. Are kids spending too much time with their head down on, 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 the, on the phone or the tablet and their fingers going like this all the time instead of interacting with other, with other human beings? Of course they are, but that's a parenting problem. Yep. And it's, it's no good for parents to park their kids in front of their t the TV, and it's no good for parents to hand them a, a tablet and say, here, go keep yourself entertained. There's a whole wide world out there, and as parents, it's our responsibility to expose our children to all of the joys of creation and not just give them over to video games. But that doesn't mean that this addiction nonsense is for real. And the pains of creation, uh, I would say. you got to take the good with the bad here. And yeah, how many times have yes, you heard a parent say, oh, I can't pry my son away from the video game. And I just look at that person like you're insane. You're, 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 you're not doing your job as a parent. But I want to argue with you a little bit on this. This, to me, is a little bit different than listening to a Beatles album over and over again or, or Chuck Berry back in the day. Um, I don't believe that unless you, you play uh, Revolution backwards, uh, they're sending messages, right? That's how old I am dating myself with that one. This is a video game, sometimes violent. And if you start connecting the dots, Peter, um, isn't this why we have some of this uh, sociopathic behavior that we're seeing uh, displayed at schools. Isn't it possibly uh, a reason, not, a, not the only reason, but a contributing factor to a young person grabbing a firearm and shooting up a school? People told my mother the same thing when I started listening to the Ramones and other punk rock groups in the early 80s, that, that punk rock was violent and it well, was going to turn me into some kind of a monster. <laughs> and here I am now on One America News. Um, I, I think that there may be some legitimate psychological or psychiatric ramifications here. I know that kids who have ADHD are stimulated perhaps in a healthy way by the fact that the graphics are always changing and that they're, they, they're getting so much differential stimulus um, by playing video games or just by surfing the net. Um, does, does that produce the psychopathologies that lead people to shoot up a movie theater, to shoot up a high school. Malcontents have been with us, it's what they used to call them, malcontents have been with us as long as, as, long as I can remember. And, and maybe the video games are dehumanizing and cheapen life, or maybe it's the fact that the parents aren't around to affirm right. humanity, to affirm life, and to make sure that their kids are properly socially integrated into the communities around them so that they don't turn into these mass murderers. And, and just like my mother told me, turn off that Peter Frampton, um, you know, it's time that parents act like parents and say, hey, turn off the video game. You're allowed to play, you know, a half hour, 45 minutes a day or a week or whatever, uh, and that is it. And I'd also like to thank you, Peter, because now I have a Ramon song stuck in my head. Peter, thanks. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.